If you want to create shapes from your mesh and you're fed up with the subdivide, then wireframe usual way. Your best option is tessellate, and it only needs two simple steps. So let's say you already have a mesh like this one. What you need to do is a simple 2D mesh, like a plane or a curve. Then just shape it into any pattern in a simple way. Like with this plane, I can subdivide it two or three times. Then with the face selection, delete two rows from it so we can manipulate the edges up and down. And you can copy the same process here. We just making it on site. Add a bevel on it to smooth the surface, then copy with rotate on 90 to make them fold on each other. Quite simple. And that's all you need here. But make sure to apply scale if you size it down. Now for the tessellate, we need the tissue add-on, which already inside Blender. So go to the extension to install it or look for it in the add-ons list. The tessellate is easy to work with. You pick the pattern first, then the mesh, and hit the tessellate button. Then a menu will appear where you have couple of options for different pattern to generate. So enable the merge while on the quad type and hit OK. With that, a new mesh will be generated where each face will be replaced by the pattern we made and you can continue on it with a solidify for the thickness, maybe even a bevel modifier on a small amount if it's visible. Keep in mind, since the pattern is squared shaped, the faces on your mesh should be more squared than going to a rectangular shape. You can repeat the same method like before, pick the pattern, then the shape, and tessel it. But this time, go with the fan type. This will generate a mesh where each face is replaced by four patterns. Thus, you end up with something more beautiful. The refresh button under the tessellate is for any changes in the pattern. Like if you want to add something extra on it, I can add a cone in its center. Then select one of the generated meshes we made and refresh it to update the pattern. It's pointing inside due to the normal, so we can fix that from the pattern with a quick rotate for the cone. And as we said before, the cuts on the mesh should be similar to the pattern in shape. Yet sometimes you will end up with a mess. No shame in that. But the tessellate will go wild if you try it on a topology like that. Some faces are big while others are small. So you need to fix it before using either the remesh modifier or with this free add-on called Q Remeshify. So pick the mesh with the weird cuts. Tune the density where if you increase it, a fewer faces will be generated and hit remesh. This works fine with simple meshes like this one, but can be hard with 3D scan models. Now with the mesh fixed, we can do the tessellate like before and get a great pattern on this swing with no time. That's it. Have fun doing it. Like the video before you go with the wind and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.